Hello, my name is Shelly McKeever and my good friend Scott Wagman has asked me to do a tutorial for you on how to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. It's a very, very simple recipe, but not everybody knows how to do this. So it's very important that I show you in great detail and how to assemble the sandwich properly. So I'll set us up and we'll start back right away. Okay, here we are in my kitchen and we're all set up here. I've got my handy dandy cutting board on which to cut my sandwich on. I've got out my peanut butter, which is my favorite brand, Adams, and I stir it really well because good peanut butter has oil in it and has to be stirred every single time. Gotta have a good consistency stirring it. You can go counterclockwise if you like, it doesn't really matter, it's all good. It's just peanut butter and we'll put that there. And then I have bread, very important. I like to use the 70 calorie sliced bread. You may want to use white bread or potato bread or sourdough is really good. All of those are delicious choices for you to make. The other thing that's a very important ingredient is the jelly. You've got to have a good jelly to make a great peanut butter and jelly sandwich. We like strawberry and raspberry, but some people like marmalade or low sugar or whatever you like, whatever makes you happiest. Use that jelly. We have uh, made our own preserves at this point, and I'm going to use these in the preparation of our sandwich for today. So first we've got our peanut butter all stirred up and we're gonna take a big blob of it and spoon it gently onto our bread, not too thick. It's very important you get all the way to every single edge because too much is not good either. Um, but it's gotta to touch all the edges just like that. You can't go halfway with this. You have to go all the way. Full coverage is what we're talking about here. And then you just scrape off the excess and wipe your knife clean on your other sandwich slice and then you take your jelly and you spoon it on there now again with the jelly if you get too much jelly that's not always a bad thing but it's helpful not to have too much because it will drip out the sides and make sure to spread it evenly all the way to the edges it's got to be perfect there we go and then you assemble your sandwich like this. Now some people will mix their peanut butter and jelly together. Some people will try to put the jelly on top of the peanut butter or whatever. You wanna do it, that's okay. Then you put it together like that. Now some people like to cut their sandwiches lengthwise or quarterwise. And some people like to take cookie cutters and make shapes out of them like hearts and things like that. Whatever you choose, Enjoy your sandwich. Mmm. That's super yum.